Okay, so welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm just going to use um, Google to talk about the details of this um, Kango hammer drill. Uh, it's a, a demolition breaker and a drill, uh, so it has two functions. And it's a Milwaukee K. S K five four five S combination SDS Max breaking hammer drill. Um, it's uh, a thirteen hundred watt machine that delivers eight point five joules of uh, hammer blow in chisel setting. Uh, thirteen hundred watts. It's uh, an SDS Max. It has a weight of six point three kilograms. It's quite an old machine. Um, I think this came out in about 2016, 2017. But I don't think that it's been superseded by Milwaukee yet. So um, this is this is basically the near to top of the top of the line um, SDS Max Kango. So um, just a bit some some bits about it. It's got a, a drilling capacity of 45 millimeters in concrete. Uh, a core bit drill size of 100 millimeters, uh, a tunnel bit of 65 millimeters, uh, and it's got it's got some really nice features to it. Um, so one of the things about it is it's very comfortable to hold. The um, the switch has um, I don't know whether you can see that, but it's got it's got like a safety switch. So you pull in and then you can kind of um, set it on. To, to run continuously uh, and then you, obviously you can release it uh, on the top here you've got uh, chisel function uh, now this is the zero function so you can set the chisel to uh, 12 different positions um, and then it's got a hammer and drill function uh, and uh, that's that's that uh, it's got a side handle with um, this has got an anti-vibration part to it as well so it's got a side handle with anti-vibration and then this rear section which I'll film later this um, is called AVS you can see it there and um, this thing moves independently in and out uh, so it's kind of separate to the actual um, the mechanics of the um, of the uh, the motor so the handle is separate to this. Um, it's got uh, an operating on LED, and this is the um, it's a red LED that comes on when it needs uh, maintenance from a Milwaukee registered uh, engineer. And um, I have seen a video of the brush replacement. So it's just a simple case of taking this cover off and the brushes are literally they're just underneath here so it's four screws brush replacement if you avoid your warranty you can change the brushes yourself which is um, which is good to know um, so yeah so it's uh, it was 697 euros uh, and it came with Free Bosch chisel, SDS Max chisel bit, um, <coughs> high performance grease, really important to keep your machine greased at all times, uh, depth gauge when you're drilling, <coughs> and uh, as it was on a special, it came with a free Milwaukee nine inch grinder, which um, I'll show you right now. So anyway, I went to, um, we're in Portugal, I went to a little shop in, um, tried to buy local, buy independent, and they had, I was going for the Bosch GBH 540D, which is, it's a two function, um, it's a two function machine, so it's, it drills and it breaks. So 
Uh, you can obviously just buy breakers on their own, uh, but obviously I'm gonna on this project. I'm gonna be there's gonna be holes that I need to drill, big holes. So <clears throat> we went to the shop to go and buy one of these, and he said to me, "This machine is uh, roughly the same specifications, but it's ten euros cheaper, and it comes with a free mini grinder." They, this, those were his words. So I was like, okay, well, um, can I have a look at the mini grinder? And uh, he came, he went back, he went into his stores and he came back, he said, uh, actually, it's a, it's a big, it's a grand breaker. So, so this was, this is 8.6 joules. The Bosch was 8.9 joules. So it's just slightly less underpowered, but this was 10 euros cheaper and it came with this free nine inch grinder, which um, I haven't even taken out the box yet. So let's have a look at it. Um, <clears throat> this came with a three year warranty. The Bosch came with a five year warranty, but um, the way things are going at the moment, we could all well be dead in three years. So I thought, I thought that this is probably um, gonna be good enough. Right, side handle, instruction book. Um, it's a beast, it's an absolute beast. Saw blade change. Safety guard. So this is the Milwaukee AG22-230. If you've had any experience with, um, I mean, it is just a pretty bulk standard nine inch grinder. There we go, so you've got the, the obligatory safety switch. Um, side handle. to replay free move I need to move that but yeah um, just a nine inch grinder but for free can't really complain um, that's it I just need to um, I'm just go and buy a blade for cutting stone and concrete pretty cool um, I've never bought any Milwaukee kit in my life um, but uh, some of my friends swear by it. So uh, yeah, let's give it a give it a, a crack and see what it's like. Okay, so um, Hilti, I've got a lot of Hilti kit, and they spent um, millions on researching white knuckle, which is the um, the effects of using large vibrating machines over a long period of time. So they spent millions on research. Uh, to to work out how to best negate the effects of white knuckle and they came up with wear gloves take breaks that was it that was what the millions of pounds um, came to anyway <laughs> Okay, so uh, my first impressions are it's a really easy machine to use. Uh, as I said before, 
It's got a really low cadence, um, so it's not a really high pitch wine, um, and it's a very it's a slow chugger, like a for example like a four stroke motorbike engine. That's how I would kind of compare it. Uh, the chisel bit is a Bosch chisel bit, absolutely perfect for this application, and this isn't going to take as long as I was worrying it might take. I thought this might take forever to do. Um, if, if you come and film the, um, if you just watch the um, this part of the drill here, if you watch this as I'm working, you'll see how it reduces stress uh, on me and probably the machine as well because um, because this is uh, sort of cushioned. Anyway, look, I'll show you now. Put the wire on the other side. Hey, get the wire out of the way. Put the wire on the left hand side. Thank you. Let me just get the gloves on. This is a really nice machine. So yeah, just uh, film this bit. I've only just realised, folks, I've got that on the low setting. Wow. Let's see what this can do on the high setting. Woohoo! machine is superb absolutely so pleased with this um, so yeah this is going to make a uh, short work of this all this stuff here is then going to go to the parking space which is up the top so this again this will all be sort of repurposed reused um, and uh, yeah it will go on to make a beautiful parking spot for little Jezebel so anyway, thanks guys, I better get on with some work and I'll put this on some time lapse, some satisfying time lapse for you all. Cheers, see you later.
Okay, so um, days, I've done a day's um, breaking out with this machine and um, I just thought I'd share with you some of my first impressions. Um, I've had Hilti breakers all my life and, um, and you just assume that Hilti breakers are the best. Uh, but I have to say, having used this for half a day now, just one afternoon, um, the Hilti doesn't, <laughs> doesn't stand up to this machine, which is a remarkable thing to say, because the equivalent Hilti at this size would be, I'm guessing probably about 1,400, 1,500 pounds. Uh, so this is half the price of the Hilti, and uh, it was just an, an absolute joy to work with. The reasons for this are a few, but mainly it's uh, this AVS system, which it almost feels like um, the handle is separate to the motor. So I've got no, I've got no white knuckle at all. Um, you know that kind of tingling in your fingers that you get from using a power tool all day. And I've literally I've used this straight for four hours now, and. Um, and yeah, uh, I've got no white knuckle at all. Um, it's powerful, it's light enough to swing around. Um, it's dual purpose. All in all, I think this is, um, I'm just gobsmacked at what a superb machine this is. For the money, I would highly recommend this if you've got loads and loads of flaws to break out like we have. <laughs> I mean, literally, we've we've um, we've got this floor. Do you want to? <laughs> we've got this floor to finish breaking out. She was a cat foil then. Yes. Um, we've got this floor to finish breaking out. Then we've got our bathroom floor. We've got our kitchen floor. Uh, we've got the floor of the extension, and we've got the basement as well. All of these. Um, it's all bedrock, so it's all this sort of uh, stuff. It's all got to be dug out, and I'm pretty confident that this will absolutely tear through it. Um, to be honest, I was dreading doing this, and um, and it's been an absolute joy working with the Milwaukee K. Let's see, K five four five S. The Milwaukee K four five S. SDS Max, absolutely brilliant. Buy with confidence. See you later, folks.